back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be a skincare update video and I am so excited because I know y'all can see. I know y'all can see this, okay? Do you see this? And also I'm gonna just tell you guys all of the new products that I have been using because yes, I did switch it up from last time. And if you have not seen my first skincare video, I'll go ahead and link it. I think it'll be up here. I'll go ahead and link it up here so you guys can go and watch it. So before we get into this video, please make sure that you do two things for me. The first thing, like this video because you're gonna like it anyway so just like it just actually like press like and number two subscribe to my channel so you do not miss another video especially a skincare update because these are gonna be rolling in okay so now that we got the church announcements out of the way let's get into this video okay so if you are new here i just want to go ahead and introduce my skin to you so i have naturally oily skin and also my skin is severely acne prone i think you can tell by like the acne scars and stuff like that i've always had acne my entire life i've tried everything i've gone to the dermatologist i've used prescribed medications i've used over the counter i've used everything so when i'm really excited about my skin and about the progress that i've had it's because i've come a really long long way so i have really uh I wouldn't say sensitive but it's definitely acne prone I just I have acne that's just that so in my last skincare video I talked about a whole bunch of products and I gave you guys the holy grail of what I was using before and I ranted and raved about my products from the ordinary yes I am still using the products from the ordinary I just switched it up a little bit so I do not have all of my old products because obviously they ran out and I bought some new ones but I do have some repeats so I'm just going to share with you guys what I used before the new batch of products. So I was using the glycolic acid toning solution from The Ordinary and I was using the niacinamide and zinc serum from The Ordinary. And then I was also using my Alpha Arbutin Serum from The Ordinary and that got my skin to a place that I've never seen it before. So I was very, very, very happy about that. So those were my old products, of course. I have been using them in this routine as well, but I just wanted to share with you guys, just in case you guys wanted to know what I have been using before. Again, check out that previous video because it has a whole lot of information about how my skin got to where it was before. And now it's like, it's like extra good, okay? Okay, so I first want to go ahead and share my daytime routine, my morning routine. So what I do when I wake up in the morning. And I just want to let you know that your morning routine does not have to be extensive because you're going out during the day. Um, really, all you need to do is cleanse, moisturize, and protect your skin from the sun, which is using an SPF. So I recently did a review on the new Fenty Beauty products, and I love them. I love them even more than my first impression. So if you haven't checked that video out either, I will link it above as well. So for my morning routine, it's very simple. All I use is my Fenty Beauty products. So I have all three of the products here. I use Use the cleanser this is the total cleanser I use the fat water as a toner and a serum and I use the SPF and moisturizer in one and that is all I do during the day and this is how it makes my skin look so you can see that my skin is super glowy it's nice and moisturized it looks beautiful this is all I did I don't have no highlighter on. I'm not greasy. Like if you feel my skin, it feels really smooth, but it has a beautiful glow to it. And that's it. That's all I do for my morning routine. And also I'll just do a little quick update on how I feel about these products. I'm absolutely in love. My favorite is the moisturizer. I know everyone's favorite is the toner. It's great. It works great. But for me, this moisturizer and SPF, look at my skin. Like, look at the glow that it gives me without me feeling greasy, weighed down, or, you know, like heavy, like it's just sitting on top of the skin. 
it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful all right so let's get into my extensive nighttime routine and i'm going to include my mask as well because i think it's also very important because i do use masks at least once or twice a week so let's get into it so the first thing that I do is obviously cleanse. So in the nighttime, I actually use two cleansers because I started reading up on double cleansing. I'm starting to really learn a lot about skincare and about a lot of the things that I was doing wrong. So not double cleansing was one of them. So I've started to do that. The first cleanser that I use is my Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. And I still love that soap. I'm still gonna use it. I still use it on my body because it just makes me feel so clean. So I still use it on my face, but what I have stopped using is a spin brush. So I was using a spin, a spin brush for years because I just like that squeaky clean feeling. So I've weaned myself off of that and I only use my hands to wash my face now. I have been looking into getting a silicone cleanser. I think it's called a Foreo. I have been looking into that to see um, if I do want to purchase that or not. But right for as of now, I have been using my hands. I think it's better just because using a brush constantly all the time, the dirt gets trapped into that brush and you have to constantly buy new brushes and all that stuff. So if I get a silicone brush, I wouldn't have to keep buying it over and over again. I just cleanse it really well and keep using it. I just put a little bit in my hand and uh, lather it onto my wet face and just do that for about a minute. Do that and then I rinse that off. And then I go in with my Fenty Beauty cleanser just to go ahead and add that softness and that moisture back to the skin because I do know that the Castile Soap from Dr. Bronner is very drying. So I go ahead and add that moisture back in because if you have not tried this already, it does keep the moisture in your face. It does. And for right now, that is my double cleansing thing. I am going to actually get a better cleanser, like an oil cleanser or whatever. I just have to read it more and purchase it. But um, I am excited to be learning these new things about my skin. My next step, if it's mask day, I'm going in with a mask. The next product that I use is from The Ordinary and it is the AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. It is a 10 minute exfoliating facial. So this is how the bottle looks. I'm sure you've seen this before. It is the serum that is red from The Ordinary. Everyone has this like everyone this is probably like the one thing that everyone recommends from the ordinary and i recommend it as well i'm telling you if you want smooth skin if you want to eliminate that texture it is so good so i'm just going to pull it up really quickly just to see um exactly what it's supposed to do because i want to give you guys you know the real okay there we go it's out of stock, out of stock on Sephora. It's an exfoliating solution to help fight visible blemishes and improve the look of skin texture and radiance. Like I said, this has really, really been assisting me with getting rid of my texture and just having an overall beautiful skin tone. So it does not lighten. That is not what I want to do. I just want to make sure that I'm getting rid of these dark marks and just overall evening the texture and the radiance and the tone of my skin. And that's really, really been helping me. How you use this product is you clean your face and wait for your skin to dry. Do not use it on wet skin. Apply evenly across the face and neck using your fingertips, avoiding your eye area. Leave on for no more than 10 minutes and then rinse off with lukewarm water. So that's what I do. With this, I don't play with the time. I leave it on for 10 minutes and then I go and rinse it off because these products, especially from The Ordinary, they are 
really potent so you're not getting any fluff you're literally getting exactly what you need so you really want to read the directions and make sure that you're paying attention and just do what it says and another thing that I have started to do which I wasn't doing before is patch testing so before I try anything on my face just to make sure that I'm not allergic or the product is uh, irritating my skin I try it at least like on my neck or on my arm and leave it on and see what it does and if it's okay on those areas then I'll use it on my face I wasn't doing this before because I just thought my skin was just Hulk okay I thought it could take everything but you really want to be gentle and be careful with your skin and I have been noticing that because I've been like paying more attention like really looking deep into my skin to see if I see any sudden irritation from products that I have been using for years and I noticed that I get little white bumps after I'm finished my entire skincare and I try like an old product it's like not working so you really really have to be in tune with your skin and really look and see if there's anything out of the ordinary happening when you start using products so so the price for this peeling solution is seven dollars and twenty cents okay it's cheap it's affordable because they're not going through the middleman they're literally giving you exactly what you need and that's it no fluff and i really really appreciate the ordinary for that so we're done with the mask let's get into my serums and my toner so like i mentioned before i use the ordinary glycolic acid seven percent toning solution and this again is to help me with my texture and my skin tone just help me to brighten and even this toner right here this bottle is eight dollars and seventy cents and this also lasts a long time I don't know how these products last so long, but they do last me a long time. I actually want to start switching out my products, but my products are still full. So I'm gonna use them until they're done and then I'm gonna order some new ones. So after I rinse my mask off, I go ahead and pat my face dry with a paper towel. Do not use a rag or a towel or anything like that. Bacteria, you just wash your face. You don't want bacteria back on your face. Don't do that. Get a paper towel. So I use a paper towel, pat my face dry, and then I go in with my toner, my glycolic acid 7% toning solution from The Ordinary. You can see that my face is really easy to glow now because it doesn't have all of that texture on it of course it's not perfect but you can easily see the light gliding on my skin because my texture has really really improved so that is that's one of the things that I've been looking for like when I see the improvement in my skin how well this light is gliding because of my texture is beautiful compared to what it was before so i really really love this i really recommend it if you have uneven skin tone and texture issues i really do recommend this so now it's time to get into my serums and i mentioned this in the beginning this is the niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent from the ordinary and i put this on after i use my toner so niacinamide which is vitamin b3 it reduces the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion and a high 10 percent of concentration of this vitamin is supported in the formula by zinc to balance visible aspects of sebum activity so i use this to help me with my blemishes and also with my oily skin and when i tell you it works wonders okay as you can see I, like i don't even have to explain anything as you can see it works it has really helped with controlling my sebum activity sebum is the natural oils that come out of your skin so it's really been helping with that 100% recommend this product okay so for this bottle this is the two ounce bottle I paid ten dollars and sixty cents for this this is still my first bottle that I bought from my last video a few months ago this is still the bottle and I still have a little bit left in there so it lasts a really really long time so on to the new products that I have added to my skincare routine. So the first one that I put on is the Axorbic Acid 8% and Alpha Arbutin 2% from The Ordinary. 
So I paid $10 for this little bottle and I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like up here. So I bought it in May, May 27th. And right now is August 24th or something like that. Yeah, August 24th. And I've barely, barely touched it. And I use it every single night. So this product targets brightening dark spots and multiple signs of aging. So I use it for dark spots um, for my acne and my blemishes. And as you can see, based on my results from my last video and the results from right now, I don't have to explain. Like, look at the progress. Hello? The smell, it's a little weird. It kind of makes me nervous, but I have not experienced any burning, any irritation, only uh, in this part of my face, like in between my nose area, the creasing of my nose. I, I tend to scrub really hard there, so whenever I put product on my face, it kind of burns right there. But other than that, like on my actual face, there's no irritation, no burning. So I no longer take it out um, like this, you know, and then put it on my face like that. I now put it in my hand and do it because I'm really trying to wean myself off of doing things that I see on social media um that you know like the instagram culture because it's not sanitary you don't want to put these things directly on your skin have that bacteria in there making a mess and now your skin is not working right so you want to put it in your hand and then put it on your skin so for my next serum i'm using the mandelic acid 10 percent paired with hyaluronic acid and it's also from the ordinary so this is also out of stock on Sephora, so it might be a favorite of some. So I paid $6 for this? What? I paid $6.80 for this. And it's life-changing. $6.80, life-changing. So I put this on after my aspheric acid, and it offers a gentle exfoliation. It helps with dullness and uneven texture, fine lines and wrinkles, and acne and blemishes. So this is said to be used once per day. This is why I use it only in the night. It is a dermal peeling type of serum, so you really want to be careful with it. And I only use a little bit. I do not use a lot because I do not want to be, you know, burning okay i put it in my hand and then i add it to my face and i put all my products on my face and my neck because i do have acne on my neck as you can see getting over something right here okay i absolutely love this mandelic acid i've never heard of it before but of course at research you learn new things i love this and of course you have to be careful but as you can see though it's working so after I add all my serums, you know, my face is nice and glossy now, I go ahead and add my moisturizer. So before I was using a moisturizer from The Ordinary, I used it all up, it ran out, and I was using the natural moisturizing factors that was paired with hyaluronic acid, and it was $5.80. It is moisturizing, it feels amazing. It almost felt like if they gave me a product that was half used because it didn't last long. And it was, it felt like it was like a little bit in there. And I was kind of annoyed because I'm like, why, why? Would I recommend it? Not really. I mean, you can try it, but I don't think it's worth the $5 and 80 cents because it felt like $3 with the amount that it that came in the container, it felt like it was worth $3. How little bit it was. Like I, from the beginning, I was squeezing out product, like squeezing it because it felt like nothing was in there. It was cute, but it wasn't worth it. So now what I have been using is my Fenty Beauty Hydra Visor Moisturizer and SPF in one. I have been using this day and night and I, love this moisturizer i do it pairs well with my nighttime products 
and it moisturizes my skin so well you guys you guys can see this you guys see this glow it moisturizes so well it doesn't sit on top of the skin it smells amazing there's nothing bad about this there's nothing bad about this y'all that is it for my nighttime routine that's all i have been using that is all the products that have gotten me to where i am right now so this is a close-up of my skin yeah that is what i have been using for my skin um and to be completely honest i am so excited about where my skin how, like how far my skin has come because i'm gonna show you guys pictures from before it was really bad and the pictures honestly don't even do it justice because in person you can really see it and i had never used to like taking pictures of my bare skin because it was so bad so i don't even have pictures to really show you guys like what it was once puberty hit my face hit and it was it was crazy so i'm really really happy about the progress i'm so excited i show my skin off whenever i can because i feel like i deserve this time to just be happy and be free in my skin my next task is my entire body because i do have like body acne as well so we're working on that i'm gonna see if i could find some stuff i might even use like my face products on my body we'll see i'm still doing research so let me know what products you're gonna try down below I'll recommend some stuff to me what has been working for you guys give me information like on new skincare techniques but that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one Bye. It's a thing. It's a thing that you do. The